I'm in a hurry. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I wanted to bust this out. Y F Y M right open. F F Y M fat free mass index wide open. People to say to guys like C T Fletcher, they say to guys like Kali Muscle, they say to guys like Simon Panda, hey, according to fat free mass index, you're not on steroids. You are on steroids. I'm sorry. You're on steroids completely, entirely. Because fat free mass index says if you're above 25, then you're on steroids. If you're below 25, then you're not on steroids. Fat free mass index is the accepted scale for proving who is natural and who is not. And that's a real problem for us because sometimes we think a lot of these guys seem very, very sure of themselves. They seem to say, if you're so, bring your test here, says C.T. Fletcher. Simon Panda says, you should come on me, I got tested. So I decided to take this matter into my own hands to find out who is natural and who is on steroids. Right? I decided to plug my own fat free mass index numbers into my own calculators and get a low down on this. So here we go. Let's get some stats on some real world application on what I do and my body fat percentages as well as my statistics. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to uh, weigh myself right over here. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, there you go, there you have it. I'm 194.194. Uh, I'm 5 foot 7. Now I'm going to proceed to go ahead and measure my body fat percentage. Ah. Now, once again, I'm not sucking in, I'm just simply standing up straight. Alright, what does that say? 33 and a half. 33 and a half. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is measure my neck for the same measurement. So, let's proceed, shall we? Hold on. 16 and a half. Let's just say 16. I know my neck's about 16. All right. Now that we got our uh, my measurements for my body, let's go ahead and plug that into a body fat percentage calculator. Once you get my body fat percentage, we're going to plug it into a fat-free mass index calculator and see what kind of fat-free mass index I have, thus proving or disproving uh, the fat-free mass in index. So let's get right into it. Here we have uh, <laughs> U.S. Uh, I'm male. Uh, last time I checked, uh, height is six seven inches. I'm five foot seven. 194 we saw on the scale, 33.5 we just measured, and 16 I'm um, rounding down because uh, I would love to have a 16.5 inch neck, but the fact is I don't as much as I would love to have one. And the answer is I have a 15.77 body fat percentage. So I'm going to round that up because usually... Uh, you know, it's a little bit high, it's a little bit lower than we'd like it to be. So for margin of error, let's call that 16%. Alright, we went ahead, uh, I went ahead, I typed that in for you guys. 194, 16% uh, body fat at 5 foot 7. I calculated it out and that's your answers right there. Um, you got 25% body fat, uh, I mean 25.58 fat free mass index adjusted to 25. So there you have it, man. I just did the math for you. I just showed you in plain calculations, in plain simple, simple numbers. Fat-free mass index does not mean a thing. Don't ever go by it. Don't ever subscribe to it. It's it's a nonsense uh, theoretical situation made by some natural lifters out there who can't seem to get any gains. The bottom line is, don't let fat-free mass index hold you back from your true potential. Your true potential, and this people don't like to understand, your true potential is truly unlimited. There's no limit to what you can do. percent false. I've never taken a steroid in my life. And yet, here we go. We have a, a calculation here that says according to the fat-free mass index scale, I am on steroids. So figure that out. doesn't make any sense. The entire fat-free mass index scale is complete rubbish. Don't subscribe to it. Don't, don't adhere to it. It's complete nonsense, right? What you should subscribe to is my channel. I didn't see that coming in. <laughs> you should subscribe to my channel where we post truth and justice on this channel. I see, I'm a truth seeker. I seek the truth. And, and if there's truth to be sought after uh, in the fitness industry especially, I will expose it. I will expose it for what's right is right 